this is the structure of observer pattern we will see how this is implemented in ruby source here is the class subject and this is the method attached with parameter obj inside this we are adding this parameter obj to instance variable observers array here is the method detach with parameter obj here we are doing nothing but in real this method will be used for detaching the observer and this is the method notify inside this we are traversing the observers array and we are calling the method update for each observer so that observer will update themselves here is the subclass concrete subject derived from subject and this is the initialize method of concrete subject inside this we are creating array object and we are assigning it to instance variable observers so observers is having array object and here we are setting nil to instance variable state and here is the method set state with parameter value inside this we are setting instance variable state with this parameter value and then we are calling the method notify so when the state is changed we are notifying to update all the observers so it will come here and it will traverse the observers array and it will call the method update for each observer so that they will update themselves and here is the method get state which returns the instance variable state value here is the class observer it has method update this method must be defined in subclass otherwise if it is used then it will throw error here is the subclass concrete observer a derived from observer and this is the initialize method of concrete observer a with parameter obj we are assigning this parameter obj to instance variable con sub and we are setting value nil to instance variable state and then here we are calling the method attach for con sub and here we are passing itself as parameter so it will go to attach of concrete subject since concrete subject is derived from subject so it will come here and it will add this observer to observers array in this case it will be concrete observer a object here is the method update inside this we are calling the method get state of concept which is pointing to concrete subject and we are getting the state and that is assigned to instance variable state and then we are displaying the value of state so here concrete observer is getting state from the concrete subject so it is updating itself and then it is displaying the value of state here is the subclass concrete observer b derived from observer and this is the initialize method of concrete observer b with parameter obj we are assigning this parameter obj to instance variable concept and here we are setting nil value to instance variable state and then we are calling the method attach of concept and we are passing itself as parameter so concrete observer b object is passed as parameter so it will go to concrete subject attach and here it will add the concrete observer b object 
to observers array and here is the method update of concrete observer b inside this we are getting the state from concrete subject and we are assigning it to instance variable state so here concrete observer b is updating its state from concrete subject and then it is displaying the value of state okay we will see how all the classes are used here we are creating concrete subject object and we are assigning to variable con sub obj and then here we are creating concrete observer a object we are passing con sub obj as parameter which is pointing to concrete subject object so it will go to concrete observer a in a slice so it will come here it will set the concept with this parameter which is concept obj variable which is pointing to concrete subject so so now observer has the access to concrete subject object and then the state is set with nil and here we are calling the method attach of concrete subject object and here concrete observer a is passed itself as parameter so we are adding concrete observer a object to the observers array and and this concrete observer a object is assigned to variable obs obj1 and here we are creating concrete observer b object and that object is assigned to obs obj2 in the same way here we are passing con sub obj which is pointing to concrete subject object so it will go to concrete observer b in a slice so it will come here will set con sub instance variable with parameter obj which is pointing to concrete subject object and state is set with nil and then the observer is attached so here it is here it is adding the concrete observer b object to observers array okay here we are calling the method set state and we are passing the value 1 so it will go to con sub obj set state con sub obj is pointing to concrete subject so it will go to concrete subject set state so it will come here it will set the instance variable state of concrete subject to 1 and then it will call the method notify as the subject has been changed so it will notify to all its observer so that they will update themselves so it will come here and it will traverse the observers array and it will call the method update so first element in observers array is concrete observer a object so when the method update is called it will go to concrete observer a update so it will come here it will display this and it will get the state updated state from concrete subject so it will come here here and it will get the value 1 and that state is assigned to instance variable state of concrete observer a and then it is displayed then the next element in 
observer's array is concrete observer or B object. So when the method update is called, it will go to concrete observer or B update. So it will come here, it will display this and then it will get the state from the concrete subject from here which is 1. So it will update the value 1 to instance variable state of concrete observer B and then it will display the value of instance variable state. Okay, we will run this program and we will see the output. So we can see when the method set state is called here, it goes to set state of concrete subject and the value, the parameter value is 1. So instance variable state of concrete subject is 1. It calls the method notify. So it comes here. And first element of observer's array is concrete observer A object. So it calls the method update of concrete observer A. So it comes here and it displays this inside concrete observer A update. Then it gets the state from concrete subject, which is assigned to instance variable state of concrete observer A. And then it displays the value instance variable state of concrete observer A, which is 1. And when the update method is called next time here, the next element is concrete observer B object. So it will go to concrete observer B update and then it displays this inside concrete observer b update and then it sets the instance variable state with concrete subject state and then it displays the value of state.